Hello everyone, Cobra here. Today we're going to play this game, Hitman: World of Assassination. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map, mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. Fascinating. According to the blueprint, Sean Rose is building an explosive battery unit for a Link 4 smartwatch. 
The charge appears to be email triggered. The unassuming target checks his messages, the virus triggers the charge, and boom. Very clever, not to mention devious. The resident hackers have installed the software trigger on one of their phones, and here is the punchline. Rose himself wears a Link 4. That is Sean Rose, terrorist turned insurgent. Baptism by fire, man. <laughs> You're telling me. I'm impressed. Of course you don't hold a camera. I have to say, it's a beautiful piece of work. No, sir. Not even if you were some kind of... No trespassing beyond this point, sir. This is your... You just saved yourself a lot of trouble. I'm impressed. Of course you don't hold it. I have to say, it's a beautiful piece of work. Mad security moment, so we can't even let other guards through. See you, buddy. You're not allowed to be here, sir. Please leave. Mexico operation? Huh. Got clipped by a ram or something? The team trains with a battering ram to simulate the attack on Secretary Torres' motorcade. I don't know. I guess old Burgess had his head up his ass. Nine out of ten accidents happen in the home. They do say that. Anyway, the guy was lucky. Sprained his ankle, that's all. 
He'll be back in a couple. So does uh, Rose still supervise the training? Sure, why? Well, if we ever want to get rid of Rose... A battering ram has injured one of the strike team, point man by the name of Burgess. And according to those militiamen, Maya Parvati oversees training. Sounds promising. I suggest you infiltrate the strike team 47. Perhaps you can relieve the hapless point man of his duties. Not the boss, Nolan. I guess uh, Burgess just taught us how. <laughs> Not like you're thinking. Tell Parvati, eh, man? It'll make her day. Regulate. Secure it for Olivia Hall and the Hampson Oil. She's the boss of the Uh, what are you, some kind of private guard? Never mind, I can't let you through. You got your ex-military, your mercenaries. So, oh. uh. Security's in the house. Never have too much security, am I right? I don't think I can hold this down for long.
very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride, that's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. you all to know this by heart. But in case amnesia has set in, here's the sequence. Advance to the car with haste. Eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Extract. Got that? And remember, speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out. Please proceed. Pretend I'm not here. Not a problem.
team's overall performance was passable. Good speed and accuracy, but coordination needs to improve. The point is to build up muscle memory. A perfect sequence of synchronized motion. We've been through this before. Nice. Uh, the Parvati won't know what hit her. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. Restricted area, and I can't let you in. about running away. That is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror analyst. Strange to see her as part of this crowd. Identify yourself. Huh. 
I'm awesome. Do I know you? You there? Excuse me. Hey. Why are you not listening, you moron? Waste of time. Well done, 47. When Rose comes back, he's in for an explosive surprise. All right. Yeah, looks good. Better text Rose and let him know the breach charge is set and ready for him. Farm life, huh?
Okay, everyone step back. Fire in the hole. Let's go. Sean Rose confirmed down. Nicely done, Time to go to work. Understood. So this test that Rose has planned seems kind of cruel, doesn't it? I mean, I'm no softy or anything, but it feels excessive. She's got it coming. But nobody could switch sides like Graves and just expect to be accepted. Tests are in order, man. Yeah, sure, I get that. But playing on her past with Interpol like that? I... I don't know, man. But I just hope the technician knows how to act. She used to be the enemy. I don't have any sympathy for that. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's got the badge, right? Yeah, he showed it to me over by the tent. Rehearsed his lines, too. He's taking this pretty seriously. Should be in the clear. Hey. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if she takes the hook. And not to mention how far she'll go. Penelope Graves is still new to this outfit, and it looks like Rose is going to test her dedication to the cause. He's arranged for one of the communications technicians to act as an outside agent. The tech is supposed to show her an Interpol badge and escort her to the slurry pit, asking her to betray the militia. Might I suggest a last-minute recasting, 47? You think she'll order us to be removed? If she does, I got a 45 cal with her initials on it. I hear you. So I just found out that Pavati was a Tamil tiger. Oh. Hello, sir.
I like fell out a little bit of something. Is that better? Okay, here's a scenario. Say a first. Run the same shot. So would you tase him in the neck slash face or in the other shot? What do you think he knows? Is that kind of neck? Set for the sting, sure. Put a badge in my pocket, prep my lines, shouldn't be a problem. Almost game time. Um, you uh, think you can hold it? Graves is new. She comes by every two seconds to check on her work. She's paranoid enough to bite. So Rose basically wants you to pretend you're with Interpol, uh, get her to come with you, uh, and then what? I'm supposed to lure her to the slurry pit and tell her to roll over on Rose and the rest of us. Try to get her to turn on us. Interesting to see how she reacts. Is she gonna ask the guys there to shoot me or will she give up everything? Yeah, it's a big decision. What if she takes the bait? Well then Rose is gonna find her and kick her ass, I imagine. Wait. I'll try again. The bloody Russians had like that satellite. Stop right there, mister!
Brother in arms. Cool. But hey, I can't let you in. Security's a bitch. That is Ezra Berg, former Mossad interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. Penelope Graves. We need to talk. You're... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. You're trespassing. Hot sauce. Okay. Yeah, you know what's best for you. Get lost. need to find another way in, sir. Sorry for the inconvenience.
Graves. We need to talk. Your... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. What do you want? You're very intense, you know that? And you need a breath mint. Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You can provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. And what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to think about. Okay, look, it's very sweet of you to follow me around on Rose's request, but well, guess what? I'm a big girl. I can handle myself for a few minutes, all right? Thank you. Think, Graves. How did they get to you? Flight out of... <laughs> Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. This area is a restricted area. I can't let you in. How can I in work? I didn't have a clue either. Freak, freak in the mask? What the hell are you talking about? I was just at the security station watching the feeds. There's this creepy guy interrogating the hostage. He wears like a 3D printed mask. Oh yeah, that must be Berg. Oh yeah, man, his interrogation techniques, totally just out of the box stuff. Like truth serums, drugs, that kind of thing. But uh, none of the rough stuff. Now they don't like to mark up their patients, so to speak. Those Mossad boys like things clean and efficient. Bird. Ezra Bird? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, man, I've heard of him. Chemical interrogation expert. I guess it's his makeshift lab they've set up. Word is he can make any of that. Oh, man, you don't know the half of it. Ezra Berg, legendary Mossad operative who specializes in chemical interrogation techniques, is here at the compound to interrogate a prisoner. My notes indicate he's set up a makeshift drug lab in a garage, and it looks like he's spending a lot of his time in the basement. Could be an opportunity there, 47. I mean, the, the stuff this guy's into, get this. Drug and... Hey, nice threads, buddy. So, listen, I've been thinking, maybe the dosage is just wrong. Did, did you check? I appreciate your enthusiasm. I checked the dosage. It was the first thing I did. Of course you did. I'm so dumb. Sorry. So, maybe there's something wrong with the delivery system? Yeah. I also checked that. Listen, I appreciate your interest in my work. It's a little hard to focus with all these questions. Not a problem. I'll just observe. It, it, it's really something else watching me. I just wanted to get into interrogation. Is that so? Absolutely. Not the... Violent kind. Beating people up, uh, electricity and breaking bones. That's... it, it isn't my deal at all. Uh, no, more like the, the subtle stuff. The indirect stuff. That you do. I understand. You want to know what the secret is? Absolutely. Keeping quiet. Let the subject talk. Oh. Got it. This should really loosen him up. Ah, his conditioning is impressive. Whoever trained him. So, I... Hey, break, man. Hey! and breaking bones, that's, it, it isn't my deal at all. Uh, no, more like the, the subtle stuff, indirect stuff. You do. You want to know what the secret is? Absolutely. Keeping quiet. 
Let the subject talk. Oh. Got it. Up, uh, electricity and breaking bones. That's it, it isn't my deal at all. Uh, no, more like that. Just... You want to know what the secret is? Absolutely. Keep it quiet. Let the subject talk. Oh. This is unsettling.
Hello. Grunts are here. Young friend. Let's try again. You're wasting your time. We heralds are only messengers. I have nothing to offer that you don't already know. So keep saying. But what about your superior? The leader of the heralds. One you call the constant. Sure. But it's impossible. I never asked. What does he look like? Like a bookkeeper. Like the guy you sit next to on the bus. Play no, I never. That's the idea. You will never find him. I will find you. Give me another ghost, Doctor. Break my mind. Don't do you any good. What?
go. Well done, 47. With any luck, the perfectionist Ezra Berg will want to examine his notes closely to figure out what happened. I'll need to check my numbers. Look, I need a bit of alone time right now to gather my thoughts. All right. Do you mind giving me some private? Yeah, soldier boy. Well done, 47. With any luck, the perfectionist Ezra Berg will want to examine his notes closely no to figure out what happened. I'll need to check. Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, 47. Forty-seven. It appears the door to the tornado shelter is protected by a biometric lock. To gain access, you need Sean Rose's body, or something equally convincing. made Ezra Berg's interrogation mask? That's what it does. It's a 3D printer. It prints things in, wait for it, three dimensions. I know what it does. I just have a question. No, did I tell you? I found another one yesterday. Another one? Oh, do tell. Okay. Hey, so you know how Rose keeps his desk tight? Center, and he just went full OCD. Had to go outside and chain smoke half a pack. Seriously, one.
Status on the ammo. Okay, I'm going to watch the internet to how to see how do I copy this Hitman. Machine Rose Free D face. So how do I do that? Okay. Let's try this again. Hey, Trooper.
day keeps getting better and better. Calm down, it was nothing. So last night was interesting. Oh, right. You were doing that bomb trigger for Rose. How's it work exactly? Yeah, so Rose is building an explosive battery unit for a Link 4 smartwatch. All right, for the next target. It's this Devereaux guy? Right. But Rose wants to control the time of detonation, so I designed this software trigger. Works by email. Devereaux checks it, the virus infects the watch, triggers the charge, and boom. Hmm. Well, that is hardcore. Man, these people don't piss about. Yeah, well, still beats working at a bank. Thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg, Ether, and that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto, Beldingford, Delvade. The Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences.
Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. You know him. Better than anyone. Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has Providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Okay, we are going to stop now the video. I hope you enjoy it and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.